We're here at the OpenStack uh, Israel Days, the seventh event in Israel. And uh, this event has been a record uh, event for us because uh, we actually reached over 500 people in the event itself, which is basically a 30% growth from last year. Uh, we're expecting to actually double uh, next year and expand even the event even more. Uh, what was interesting for me this time is that I think we really crossed the point of no return in, with regard to the adoption of OpenStack in Israel. And, and Israel, because it's mostly a startup nation, uh, the point of no return is really uh, the, uh, the point in which you get to a critical mass in which a technology becomes viable for a lot of innovation. And I think what we've seen today here uh, through things that came from Austin, live person uh, being with the poster Charles, uh, obviously the project that we're working on on Cloudify being part of the OpenStack users, as well as the investment of AT&T uh, in Israel, which was uh, had, uh, we were actually selected as the uh, super user in, in Austin and now have a very big team doing R&D and innovation in Israel. Uh, Mellanox is the biggest contribution here in Israel. Uh, so all those things really create that critical mass. And I think the jewel in the ground was the, uh, the intelligent uh, community that actually presented here. The fact that we got someone who is coming from a more conservative, very secure type of industry and adopting that is a very important milestone uh, for the adoption of OpenStack in Israel because it really, really shows that now OpenStack is the right technology to bet on. Uh, and that's, uh, I think, was one of the major things that I saw uh, in this event. If I'm adding to that the fact that Rackspace have, uh, did partnership with Bezek, who is a big uh, internet provider here in Israel, that would get all the, uh, if you like, traditional data center operations also into OpenStack. And that was the fact that it's local and it's uh, operated by local uh, ISPs was also a big important thing. So all those things together, I think, bring us to the point where it's it's really, really got to the point where it's worth for more and more companies here in Israel to adopt it and use it. Hi. So, at LifePerson, we've been using OpenStack for uh, four and a half years now, having uh, quite a large uh, scale uh, deployment, uh, something like uh, 20,000 physical cores across seven data centers. And um, we are part of the Israel community. I'm personally part of the Israel uh, uh, organization uh, community. And uh, it's very important for us uh, to invest a lot in the local Israel community uh, because uh, we would like to collaborate as much as possible. Um, I think we have a name in the community where everyone knows that our door is open. If you don't know, our door is open for, uh, for uh, other Israeli companies that uh, want to adopt OpenStack. So uh, we can help, consult. Uh, we've done it a lot with many companies. I know for sure that we influenced many companies to adopt OpenStack themselves, and uh, even, uh, even uh, organizations that I'm not allowed to speak of. So um, if you are part of the Israel community, um, you are welcome. And uh, I think we have a lot to tell. I think we can uh, build confidence for uh, users that uh, are uh, not sure or uh, don't know exactly how. And um, and uh, contribute as much as we can to the Israel community. Hi, so I think uh, after getting the uh, Super User Award, it's quite evident that uh, at and is really committed to OpenStack. We have just about 75 uh, data centers right now, and we're aiming for about 1,000 by 2020. So it's, uh, it's really critical for us to be involved with the community to contribute our uh, effort and to you know to get back as well, um, it's I think it's really important to have these kind of, of events um, across the world, around the world, and even more here in Israel. We have about I think 500 people in the uh, AT&T R&D Center in Israel, and a, a fifth of us are working around the OpenStack projects, etc. And um, we want to. We want the community to know that we are committed and that we want to be able to direct some of the, the future of OpenStack um, to, 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 to help us and the community to grow together. Hello, my name is Oded. I'm from Hewlett Packard Enterprise here in Tel Aviv. 
and uh, I'm quite excited to be here in the OpenStack Day in Israel. It's uh, exciting to see so many people, hundreds of people coming to the event. We in Hewlett, in Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, contribute a lot to the OpenStack uh, Foundation, OpenStack Project. Actually, the latest uh, M release, we contributed, contrib contributed uh, significantly and we were rated number two in significant uh, uh, metrics like number of engineers, uh, number of code lines uh, contributed, reviews, etc. Uh, here in Israel, we have established a cloud group, uh, mainly working on OpenStack uh, activities, OpenStack uh, projects with the government, with the army, with the commercial customers. And uh, we are uh, having a huge fun here in Israel, uh, uh, contributing and promoting OpenStack activities. Thank you. So Mellanox is a network company, and what we do basically is making networking for cloud work much better. So our work in uh, OpenStack is basically around Neutron quite a lot, but we also touch quite a lot on Nova and Cinder for the storage interconnect. Um, and all the work we're doing is basically upstream in the community. We're working uh, here in Israel mostly. Most of our R&D is here in Israel. And we are very fortunate to have a lot of companies in Israel that are doing a lot of open stack. You know, Red Hat, um, Huawei, and many, many others are working in Israel developing into open stack. So we're very fortunate to work in a small country where we can sit together and do a lot of community work together and drive and make OpenStack much better.